What's up, music makers? It's Luke from Sojourner Tracks, and I'm here with another installment of my Two Minute Tips series, where I try to answer specific questions about Logic in or around, generally not even close to the two minute mark, but let's see how I do today. Today I wanna to talk about how to set up the Logic Pro vocoder. If you've been in that plugin at all, you've probably realized it's not all that intuitive on how to set it up if you've never done it before. I'm not gonna get into the details, I'm just gonna show you how to set it up so you can get to making some noise with it. And the first thing that you're going to need is a fresh audio track. So create a new track, audio, and I'm gonna try and keep all these tracks together, just uh, makes things a little bit easier. Uh, I would name this something like vocoder so that you can find it easily later because as you'll see, that's something that you'll need down the road. And then you can go ahead and just mute this track. At no point will this track need to be unmuted. It's just going to be the source audio that runs the vocoder. Hopefully you're tracking with me. If it doesn't make sense yet, it will in just a minute. So the next thing we need is an actual piece of audio. So whatever it is that you want to vocode, whatever vocal that you want to use, um, could be a whole track, could be a section. I've got a lead vocal here and I'm just gonna grab this piece of it. Um, and if you hold option, we can duplicate that, drag it down. Now we've got a muted piece of audio here to act as the signal for the vocoder. And we now can make another new track, this one a software instrument. And this is where we're going to load up the actual vocoder. So down here you'll find Evoc 20 PS. We're getting there, not quite there yet though. Uh, if I play my keyboard, it's just acting as a synthesizer right now. And that's because under the signal section, this needs to be set to VOC. So now it's acting as a vocoder. If I play over here, nothing happens, but that's okay. Um, we're not quite there yet. Under sidechain, the next thing you need to do is go to the audio dropdown. And remember we named our muted track vocoder. So we'll grab that and play my keyboard again, still nothing. The reason being the vocoder will not be activated unless the audio is playing. So it's it uses the uh, audio from this lead vocal part to basically drive this synthesizer. So we have to actually have the track playing in order for the synthesizer sound to come out. So I'm gonna play this and I will be playing my keyboard as we go and you'll hear the vocoder come in. Well, the road isn't new, it's corrupt with abuse and it's littered with fear, phantoms lost and confused. Are we almost there yet? So that's something that you know, you kind of just have to set a cycle and play through it until you figure out what you want to do. Obviously, you could always create a MIDI region and do the same thing and just kind of draw it, move the pieces around. Um, but that is how you set it up. That's how you make noise. Again, you got to make sure that, that the track is actually playing in order to get sound out of the vocoder. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. If it has, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.